My name is Alana Potter from the IRC International Water and Sanitation Centre, making a couple of comments on the importance of hygiene, particularly on World Water Day. Unless water, improved, clean, abundant, beautiful water, is used safely and hygienically, you will not see the intended health and economic benefits uh, from improved water supply. In fact, cholera will continue uh, regardless. So unless water is managed and sanitation is managed hygienically, you will not see any of the benefits accruing from improved water and sanitation services and supply. Um, and what does that mean? I mean, uh, what's difficult about that is that we're now entering the terrain of behavior change and of influencing the way people act and the way they behave in, in a very personal terrain at the household level. And as we know, that's one of the most difficult things to do. It's one of the most difficult things to track, to monitor, to measure, to facilitate, to, to make happen. And so a lot of effort and energy is expended in monitoring the things that we can more easily track and, and, and measure. But unless we can actually measure behavior change, we're not going to be able to, I suppose, build an evidence base for continued investment in facilitating the effective use and the safe use of water and sanitation. And so very, it's a big challenge in the sector and, and many really excellent sector institutions have pitted themselves in developing indicators, data, tools and methodologies to help, to help monitor um, behaviour change with respect to hygiene. And what we've done is review the work that's been done by these organisations and pulled together three key behaviours, hygiene behaviours that are, are commonly agreed across these various institutions over time. Firstly, the obvious one which is hand washing uh, with soap or a soap substitute uh, at critical moments, so either you know after defecation or before preparing food or after changing a baby's nappy. The second one that's very widely agreed is obviously the disposal, the safe disposal of feces. So the yeah, the use of a latrine, for example, but anything that separates feces from the user. And then of course the third, the third key hygiene behaviour is the effective and safe use and management of water at household level. So a lot can happen to water to contaminate it from collection to consumption. So it's essentially about effectively and safely managing water after collection. Those are three absolutely crucial behaviours with respect to managing and using water safely and hygienically for better health.